Hello everyone, welcome back to Bell Tribe TV. Today we are going to be preparing some tamarind paste. I'm a huge fan of pad thai, sauce, noodles, the whole combination, the whole shebang. I'm a huge fan of it. So I've tried a few different recipes. So what I'm gonna do is take from the recipes that I've tried and make my own pad thai. But what we're gonna start with is the tamarind paste for the pad thai. So right here we have some really hot water. You can see it's steaming. My water that comes out of my sink is super hot, so I didn't even have to boil this water. I have a block of tamarind seedless. I actually ordered this off Amazon. I think it was about eight, nine dollars or something like that. So let's get started. So I've already kind of started cutting the tamarind. I'm just gonna cut it up in smaller pieces. There are seeds in here. It says seedless, but I swear it's just squished. Oh, yep, there is a seed. But I'm just gonna break it up in smaller pieces and then put it in the bowl. It might be easier not to use a knife. Let's get in there with the hands. So I'm just gonna break it up, drop it in the bowl. Now, I'm not using this for one dish of pad thai. I'm just making all of it at once because honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it if I just let it sit around, but I know if I have pad thai sauce, I could just make pad thai noodles whenever I want. Or tamarind paste, I can make pad thai sauce whenever I want. This stuff is so thick. It looks kind of disgusting though. I don't really want to say what it looks like, but use your imagination. <laughs> okay. So we got all of that in there. Like that. Okay, so now that we have the tamarind soaking in this hot water, we're just gonna leave it soaking for, I don't really care how long, it could sit here until the water cools off if you ask me, but we're gonna let it sit and we're gonna let all those fibers loosen and then we'll move on to the next step. So now that the tamarind paste has been sitting for a while, I'm just smushing it up with my fingers, getting, um, just squeezing as much of the tamarind off of the little fibers and the few seeds that are in the bowl. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna transfer it into here and then I'm gonna press all of this paste through the, through there. So now we're gonna pour this in here, and we're gonna just smush all this out. Now we're just gonna squeeze all this. Just gonna continue to Get as much of this paste out of here as possible. This actually kind of smells like prunes. And this is what it looks like so far. Now, what I'm going to do is put this aside or dump this out and put more in here. I'm gonna scrape all that off the bottom. Ooh, that's really tamarind paste. Mm. Okay. I'm 
So this is what the tamarind paste looks like after it's all soaked and separated from the seeds and the fibers. You actually have a paste here. So now at this point, I have to cook it a little bit to remove all of bacterias so that I can keep it longer in the fridge. So here's the tamarind paste. It's all heated through. Now I'm going to let it cool and place it in this container.